is all presented by Stone Academy. A couple in Colorado ended up with some wild wedding photos after they got married during a fast-growing wildfire. I don't think you've ever seen anything like you this. You can't really plan this either. Crazy. They had to move venues because of the massive 416 fire and finally decided to use the fire as a backdrop. I Why guess, not? Yeah. Remember the day. That's, those are incredible pictures. Uh, they did it to show their appreciation of the crews who are battling the blaze, keeping everybody safe. They're encouraging people to donate and that's why these yeah. pictures are spreading. So, so pretty. I guess wow. in such a time of devastation, there is a bit of, uh, you know, a, a, a beautiful moment there for them. So it's uh, pretty cool that they were able to capture that. Yeah, and it was, who else has wedding pictures like that, no. right? No, I mean, the they're, they're almost as nice as yours at, oh, at the Waterbury it's Palace. really kind of you yours to was say. A, It was a big ordeal. Avengers Infinity War has done something only three other films have done in history, Ryan. And that is to cross the two billion, that's with a B, billion dollar mark in ticket sales worldwide. So Infinity War joins Avatar, Titanic, and Star Wars The Force Awakens in the super exclusive club. Now, Infinity War is by far the highest grossing Marvel movie ever worldwide. Teresa has seen it 17 times, <laughs> uh, and it is still more than $40 million behind Black Panther. So we're probably going to see Black Panther join that club as it, well. It you could would be. Assume. And you really enjoyed that movie. I have yet to see it. I saw both of them. I, I thought they were awesome. You, you need to jump on the superhero bandwagon. You, you have a little son who is soon going to be in that range. I mean, That's what is he true. now? Two or three? He'll be three, three. in uh, two weeks. Yeah. Crazy. So you better hurry up. We'll see what we could do. All right. All right, on to another projected blockbuster. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom premiered last night in Hollywood. But will it be the best Jurassic film yet? Your mind will be blown by the potential of where we can go now with Jurassic because we're off the island. The technology's out in the world. Here I am talking about. So that was Chris Pratt there. He is the star of the show. And you're going to see your buddy from the original films, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, and he says this is hands down the best Jurassic film of all time. So the prehistoric beasts, now they're going to be set free in the world to, to roam free. Uh -huh. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of happens there. I, I, I know as a kid, I mean, this was a classic growing up. I remember seeing it in the movie theater. Huge hit. So it's, it's going to be uh, exciting because this week it debuts. You guys can uh, head on over and check it out. Will, will you be seeing this one? or We might see this one. Yeah. It's not too scary for, for the little man. Little Dante. All right. We'll have to tune in and find out. Maybe for his third birthday, you guys can go celebrate. We haven't a done the movie thing yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know if really? We get through a whole movie. Oh, all so right. we'll see. Th this could be your chance, I guess. <laughs> right? All right, so it's a bird, it's a plane. Not quite right. This no. is a raccoon. In Minnesota, a raccoon attempted to scale a 23 story skyscraper, but before finishing the journey, the raccoon took a break on a window ledge. He got tired, I suppose, drawing yeah. some attention from the crowd below. And millions were keeping tabs online, of course, watching it live. Uh, the raccoon safely climbed from the ledge on the 17th floor up to the roof around 3.30 this morning, in case you were wondering the outcome. Everybody is safe and sound. Thankfully, the raccoon is A-OK. -okay. I, I think he's like a superhero now after that. They'll uh, make a movie about attempt him. Attempt there, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> From raccoons to uh, deer, I guess. It's an animal <laughs> jam-packed show today. A deer was spotted running around Washington, D.C. in the metro station just before the Washington Capitals Stanley Cup parade. Oh, my. There he is, just prancing along. Uh, How did he get in there? Wow, what? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, maybe he wanted to catch a train to the festivities. Oh, he look. had bigger plans. He's right there on the tracks. Uh, <gasps> thankfully, the deer was okay as well, just like our buddy the raccoon, so everything was all right, which is good to know. Whew. Now we can continue on with our day, knowing that everybody is okay. Let's give away